If rockets are awesome and nuclear power is awesome, what could be better? Nuclear rockets, of course. Well, not that kind. During the 50s and 60s, while conventional or chemical rockets were extremely powerful, we needed a more efficient solution for long distance space travel for trips to Mars and beyond. One of the first projects the United States began researching was the Orion Project. The Orion Project was basically going to use nuclear explosives to propel a spacecraft at incredible velocities. This was never developed into a viable option. The better and more viable option was creating a nuclear thermal rocket, or NTR. This type of engine uses a nuclear solid core reactor to heat liquid hydrogen to a very high temperature that would propel the vehicle forward. The reactor core was made of graphite, which was bonded with uranium-235. This was encased in a beryllium shell, which reflected the neutrons created by the uranium-235 back to the center of the core and generating great heat. In order to slow the reaction, there were cooling rods built into the reactor's shell. These rods were half beryllium and half boron. When turned with the beryllium side to the core, it would reflect the neutrons and increase heat. When the rods were rotated so the boron was facing the reactor, the boron would absorb enough neutrons to reduce the amount of heat, enough to stabilize the reactor. Hydrogen stored at negative 420 degrees Fahrenheit is transferred via turbo pump through the engine nozzle and the reactor shell. This keeps both the nozzle and the reactor shell from overheating and warming the fuel before it is passed through the reactor's core. The reactor heats the hydrogen to over 2,500 degrees Kelvin. That's over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the resulting pressure is directed out of the nozzle, generating thrust. A bleed line transfers some of the heated hydrogen back to the turbo pump to drive it. Chemical rockets typically use a two-fuel mixture that ignites inside a combustion chamber and the explosive force is directed out of the engine nozzle. Rocket engine efficiency is measured by seconds of specific impulse, or ISP. This is simply the seconds it takes to burn through one pound of propellant at one pound thrust. In the 1960s, most chemical rockets had an ISP of 300 to 450 seconds. The nuclear thermal rocket, or NTR, was tested at almost 900 seconds of specific impulse. The fuel efficiency of these types of engines were double that of chemical rockets. The NERVA, or Nuclear Engine for Rocket Vehicle Application Project, was shelved and then canceled due to budget cuts. Thank you for watching Pac Mule STEM Facts.